welcome to Crafty Hints. And if you're new here, I'm Chantel. I'm so happy to have you here today. All of my DIYs are geared around a new fall coffee bar. Let's get to DIY one. I started out with that canister from the Dollar Tree. It has a little metal lid and a seal. I took one of these pumpkins. They're the ones that come on the little crocodile clip. And I just took my X-Acto knife and worked my way around it. It has a little bit of a plasticky feel on the outside of this pumpkin, so it took a little bit more work. So just continue to work that around and try it back on top of your lid from time to time so that you make sure you get a snug fit. And I did this to three of them. Next, I took them out to my little spray tent. It's just a small little tent that I can put in my garage and spray these. And I use a Rust-Oleum copper spray paint. I thought that this gave them such a neat look. Look at these. Who would have thought these came from the Dollar Tree? You cannot tell. So you want to give them one to two coats, just making sure you get a nice solid covering on them. Turn them here or there so you don't see any silver or orange peeking through. Such a high-end look with minimal investment. Look at these. I think they turned out great. This month, Teresa B. DIY started this Crafting for a Cause Breast Cancer Awareness, and her co-host is Mackenzie Lumbermill. Please make sure to go to the playlist, but especially visit Teresa B. DIY's channel, as she will be donating all of her ad revenue for this month towards breast cancer awareness and research please visit the playlist down below as well for some wonderful DIY ideas. DIY two. Next, I just took a tray from the Dollar Tree and a canning jar lid. I wanted these to be accented also with a copper. Very quick and easy. I sprayed that other pumpkin as well. So this is just a quick and easy way to update your coffee bar. DIY three. I took a sign from the Dollar Tree and flipped it over and sprayed that in copper. And now I applied this label. Just rubbing that down. Next, I just took this dauber and I'm going over this in Waverly's Ivory Chalk Paint. If you are enjoying these quick DIYs for your coffee bar, please hit the like and subscribe so that you can see more of my DIYs. I truly enjoy making these for you and hope that you enjoy watching. Out of all of these, I do hope that you'll let me know which was your favorite. All I'm doing here is daubing right on top of that stencil. Now you could use stickers, you could use whatever you want. I have done this with stickers in the past. Now I'm just painting over the rest of the sign. I started with this bigger brush and then decided I needed a much bigger brush. I usually use a big foam paintbrush and that covers these really well, but I decided to try and use this big brush and I don't think it was the best one for this project. But use what you're comfortable with. We're just covering this whole sign in that ivory chalk paint. Now the fun part, after it fully dries, I'm going to go back. You can still see the bumps where that decal is. And I'm going to pull that up and look at the reveal. How fun is that? Look at that copper pop through. I did get a little overzealous with my paint this time. So it's a little bit thicker than I normally paint over these. But that was working with a different brush. So 
So I just continue, that's a tool from the Dollar Tree. You have um, one with a thicker end and one with this thinner. And I do like to use those now and then for weeding, but I also really like my Cricut hook, which you could use. So whatever your preference is, and I will just continue to peel this off and reveal all of that. So, so quick and simple. There's so many fonts at your craft stores that you could use different letters to make this your own. I did create this one, so I will be able to link that PNG file for you to use on any of your cutting machines, or you can also cut that out on some contact paper and make your own. Be happy to do that for you. I do want to thank you all for supporting my channel. Thank all of my new subscribers and truly thank my subscribers that have been with me for so long. I'm really trying to grow this channel. So please help me and share these videos with your friends that you think might enjoy them. Um, and reach out to me if you'd like to and let me know what else you'd like to see on my community page or my email. I want this to be a fun area for us to collab together. I'm excited soon we'll be getting into some of the holiday DIYs. That seems so crazy as the leaves are just starting to fall. All right. Now I'm just attaching this leaf. I had touched that up a little bit with some paint in those areas. I got a little bit of thicker paint when I pulled up the stencil vinyl. It did pull up just a little bit too much and not as smoothly as normal. There we are. I think that turned out so neat. What do you think? I do hope that you've enjoyed these and will leave me a comment below again on which one was your favorite. I do read each and every one as well as reply to it. So thank you so much. I can't wait to read those. And let's take one more look at our quick fall coffee bar makeover. Some hints of copper just totally changed the feel. Here's another video and a playlist that you might enjoy.